Welcome to Abundant Life Homestead. Today we're uh, back in the campsite. We're going to finish up what we started yesterday. Today's a big day for work. Today's also a big day for the boys. It is their first day of summer break. So they're going to be out here helping us pretty shortly. You'll see all my little minis running around us helping out. I think we'll have a, uh, we'll have a good time, get a lot done. And they should be out here any minute, so I'll cut back in as soon as we get started. All right, Gabby, come here. What? You're getting on the tractor. We're going to pull out some of this honeysuckle. What, what, what? Slow down. Say it again. Why am I starting off with attacking something? You'll be fine. It's not that. that that's not hard enough to tip it or anything. Okay. And you've got you've you've got a little familiar with it moving it once last year. Yeah, one time. Well, it's all still. You wipe your seat off. You don't want all that stuff in your butt. Okay, so it's not like a gas, it's not like starting up the lawnmower, it's diesel. You gotta preheat it with your blow plugs. How you do that? You turn the key backwards, okay? Yep, there's a little thing that tells how long you hold it for what, the, depending on what temperature it is. Don't worry about your how many seconds. I listen for clicks. The, the, your, your timer here will click. So generally if it hasn't been started all day hold that key all the way backwards see that position i'll hold it all the way back until it clicks about five times then you press all the way down on the clutch push down on that. let me see make sure you can do it yep you might need your seat moved forward it does move forward try that okay so when you go to start it you get your you get it five clicks in then you push down on the clutch and start it just like you do the lawnmower. Go right. Yep. This is your throttle. That's your engine speed. If your engine is, but it's really your transmission. You hear that whining? It means put your engine speed up because it's it's working too hard. You need more need more power in the hydraulics. And you just take them off. No, it's permanently attached. These these wires don't come off. So, but when you when you start it sometimes it'll be down here this is the kill position if you need to shut the tractor off you just slam this lever down okay to start it there's a little stop right there feel f use that feel that there's a little stop right there it needs to be just above that stop to start it so right there is fine when you start it but when you when you kill it all the way down so it stops yep and the engine will stop throttle all the way up is about there. Like I said, if your engine starts whining, or if it's grunting, if it's <laughs> uh, then that means you're, tra that you're 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 putting too much work into it for the engine to keep up. Your engine needs more fuel. When the transmission's whining, it's just the transmission itself is not getting enough power to do what you're asking it to do. In either case, throttle up. Okay. This is to control your bucket. You're not going to use the bucket much today because you're going to be pulling. Can we, can we lift it off just a little bit, though? Yeah, we will. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, because right now you're sitting on the ground. Remember how the stick goes? Down is down, up is up. Nope. Down is up, up is down. Okay? So, when you go to take off, normally there's this this rectangle on top yeah. of the... Uh, you want, you want to ride with it about up here. That way, when you're going up and down in some of the dips and stuff, your bucket doesn't hit the ground. So... But remember, hold this five clicks. Make sure your throttle is above that stop. Anything else I need to know? Like what's forward, what's backwards? That's that pedal. Is it forward? Yep, it's, it's it, it, the same way. It's, oh, it, I, didn't, I didn't see yeah. it. Yeah, it's just forward and backward are just like the lawnmower. And this, what does this brake? Um, no, your brakes, your actual brake, is that yellow pedal. You shouldn't need your brake. Brakes. This is your clutch. This disengages the engine from the transmission it separates them so your engine your engine can still run really high but it, 
And with, with the hydrostat, which is what this is, the way that pedal's set up, your engine can still run really high, but with the clutch pushed in, there's going to be no power going to the wheels whatsoever. Because I'm, I'm going to um, accidentally do that a lot, probably. Yeah. Because the lawnmower. Yeah, the lawnmower breaks on the other side, and that's what that's what I showed you last year, too. It's That's the only thing that stops it. Your gearing is here. What's that mean? Okay. I'm not going to have to do anything with that. Yep. Yeah. So, all the way up, the turtle, that's low gear. That's when you get the most torque to your wheels. What's that mean? When you are pulling, when you're pulling the bushes out of the ground, you want to be in low gear. So, pull up? Yeah. Okay. Neutral, if you are not physically sitting on this tractor, that thing, and it is running, it, it's in neutral. Always put it in neutral. Make sure it's positively in neutral, okay? Does that mean it won't go? Yeah, okay, it, so neut right. neutral means there's no power going to the transmission. So just like when you push down on the clutch, mm -hmm. there's no power going to the wheels. Down, the rabbit, mm -hmm. that's high gear. You when you're traveling, which as you pull the bushes out, I'll probably have you take them to that pile that I've started out here, pull them all the way there. When you're just traveling, you're not doing the hard work, mm -hmm. put it in high gear because otherwise you're creeping along and you're just, you, you you want more speed and you don't need to be putting that much torque to your wheels, okay? Can we have like a big thick one I well, wanted today? Well, in we can get a few big ones. I want to get what's here in the campsite first. I'll just want to truly get that one because I really yeah. want that one. And then all the way down here, there's one more lever down in here. See that? Mm -hmm. When that's up, you're in two wheel drive. When that's down, you're in four wheel drive. Oh, I need to touch that. Um, Probably not. I think even the, it, it doesn't. It, it's fine to be in four wheel drive to pull some of the smaller ones, but when we get to the bigger ones, you will absolutely want four wheel drive because some of the big ones I've tried to pull, my back tires start slipping. So you get that extra pull out of the front tires with it down on four wheel drive. But you're not going to be going fast enough anywhere to like tear up the dirt. Mm -hmm. if, if you're trying to mow with it, you don't want to mow in four wheel drive, but when it's working, it doesn't hurt anything to be in four wheel drive. So when you go to start it, make sure you're in neutral, pull it all the way up, put it in neutral, go ahead and do your key, fire it up. How do you hear it click? It takes a second. No, that wasn't the click. Though. That one? Mm hmm Those clicks are tenths of a minute, and you let it go. Right, you say let it go. You let it, it go. Those clicks are a tenth of a minute, so it's a click every six seconds once it starts. I normally do five. Do it. Do it just a couple more since you already started the preheating. So three. Yeah. There you go. Now push, and you want to pretty quickly do the clutch. And pull it back a little bit. Throttle it down because you want to warm, take it to the stop. You have to start it above the stop at idle speed when you're not actually doing something. Pull it to the stop. Start pulling it below the stop. You're you're not giving it enough juice, and then you pull it low enough, and it is actual electrical disconnect that kills the engine. But you want it to warm up a couple minutes before you go anywhere. Anytime it's not been started. Now, if you shut it down for 15 minutes. You don't have to let it warm up again, but you want you want your engine to start normalizing temperature so that you don't have spots that get hot real fast. Get it all good and warm, and then take off and do the work. Especially if you're doing hard work. If you're just if you were just going to go take this back to the barn right now, yeah, you'd let it run for a minute and then take off. But with uh, with us getting ready to work it, we're going to let it sit here a minute. And unlike the mower, you can get off of it when it's running too. So if you want to leave it, let's go ahead and let it warm up real good. We'll, 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 real, we'll get it started on a couple of those small ones. I've already got the chain around one, the one at that tree over there. And then... Uh, once, once we gave, gave, him, gave it a good warm up, you can show me the big one you want to pull. And... 
as long as we can if we can get around it, we'll find a way. And then it depends on what kind of tree it is too. Here, I'll, I'll just sell it's, you. Yeah, let's walk over there. This house is fine. All right, you hear that? Can you hear that? It was both the engine was grunting and the transmission was whining. Don't do that. When it comes, when it tries to roll. Give yourself a tap and put it back in neutral. Or hold in the clutch, not the brake. Now put it in neutral with your foot on the clutch. But while you were trying to back up and stuff, your engine was both burp, 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 running, and this transmission was whining. That means you need more throttle. You're in, when you're in low gear, you want this at least that high to travel. Okay. Hey, dude. He's trying. Caleb, turn your wheel this way. Now straighten it up. There you go, come on back. That's fine. Put it in neutral, throttle down. And you're in neutral, right? Okay, come back here. Because if you don't put that thing in neutral, it'll start rolling either forward or backwards. So always make dang sure it's in neutral or shut off, okay? I did, I did. I pressed the pedal and didn't do anything. Okay, so any any of the bushes that you're gonna pull, you got you got a line between your tractor and the bush. You're gonna start your chain around the right side of it. Go clockwise or counterclockwise. Get it out here. Take this into your chain, wrap it around, make a loop, connect it back onto itself. What that does is creates a slip so that the tighter you pull with the tractor, the tighter it grips on the base no. of this, okay? No, Gideon. No, no, we do not hook onto that. That's all bent up because somebody who owned it before me hooked onto it. Move, get up. Okay, down here you got this ring, okay? This is your. This piece that sticks out has the, the two things to hold down through it. That, that's a draw bar. I've already got a clevis in it. We're gonna wrap through this a couple times.
Bring the chain back in itself. You don't want you don't want more than a link or so slack because if this starts shaking, it's going to fall out. So you want it as close up to the clevis as you can. You want that as tight as you can. Okay. Now, when you go to take off, you're already in four. We don't have to worry about that. Put it in low gear. You wouldn't have to throttle all the way up to pull this little bush out, but just for the sake of getting practice, because we're going to pull bigger ones, throttle all the way up. Roll forward slowly until the chain is taut, until it's tight. Then you give it the power and just start pull and just keep going. Okay. It will not flip over for any reason. What for anything? No, we're no. There's zero chance this thing's going to flip in. over on you, buddy. It, it takes a lot to flip these over anyway, but I'm not going to put you through anything that might. Get in, out of the bucket, away from the tractor. Huh? Well, I rolled it into a ditch one time, but I ain't going to do that to you. That's different. Yes. Up. Full throttle. Full throttle. Slow. It can move a little quicker. There your chain's tight. Give it heck. There you go. Do you want to drag it all the way to the brush pile? No, I want to I want to use it. Oh, that one? We'll have a big chunk there. Gideon, go over there by the firewood pile, get the shovel, and scoop all the stuff back into the hole. Okay. Here, take these to the firewood pile with you. Well, no, that's just, that's rotten. I'll just go out in there. Hey, go get the shovel. There's a little shovel in the trailer. Yeah, I'm sure there is. No, this is rotten, too. Go get, go get the shovel and fill the hole back in. Well, if you want to do something with that particular one, put it back in that clearing, and we'll just go for the next bush. And when you're doing this, you can go ahead and leave the chain attached to the clevis. Just make sure you got this draped and hanging around so that when you're backing up towards the next bush or whatever, you don't get the chains under the tires, okay? This is, hang on. Check it again right before we pull the next one. Next one's on that dead tree right over there. Don't try to scoop it, yeah, just scrape it just like you'd be using your boots to do it, but. <sighs> All right, untangle the chain. Go up under there, get around all the branches, the whole base. You want to try to set it or you want me to? I need to... Yeah, you're going to need to back up a few more inches, buddy. You don't quite have enough. What? So you don't quite have enough chain here. That's probably okay. Is that okay. Yeah.
You want to try the saddle or you want me to go ahead and do it? What you're going to do is make a loop with this one, bring it back, not wrap it around. You just want a loop. See like that? Mm -hmm. You want to make a loop here that that can, that the main chain that's going back to your tractor, that that part of the chain can slide right through all this. Okay? That's what you're looking to do. Check the hook at the clavis, make sure it's hooked onto itself. If it's not, put it on the closest link you can get it on. All right. Well, don't, yeah, you're all right. You're good to go, buddy. Go ahead and pull her. Go ahead. That's good. When I, um, I was smashing the stick, so I, like, threw the rock on it, and a piece swung out and hit my leg. Did you break the rock? No. That rock is on that hole for a purpose. Why? I need that rock back on that hole. Why, Daddy? Because I want it there. It covers up my grounding rod. What's the grounding rod? That's for the generator. Do you want to take that one all the way to the uh, brush pile? Yeah. Okay. Pretty long one though. Yeah. Well, you can drag it all the way there. Just get it up beside, you know where the brush pile is now, right? No. It's in the closest uh, garden plot. Oh, is it like where you go in? Yeah, like just just, just right, at, right once you get to the pasture, just turn right. You'll see a big pile of honeysuckle that I pulled out last week. Just get it up oil? close to beside it and unhook your chain. Make sure you get your chain wrapped back up. and I Then I'll use the oil? bucket to shove anything else we get up there later. Can I have my orange? Yeah, you can sit down and have your orange. The camera died on me earlier, but that's okay. I kind of expected it to. We've been out here several hours. Gabby even got some time on the tractor, pulling out a couple of the honeysuckle bushes. We're going to do a lot more of that this year. He, uh, he really wants to learn, but uh, he, he's, kind of, he's kind of weary of it, so we'll take it easy. We, we did a little bit easy job today. He had he's had a little time on it, but uh, just it was just okay. Drive the tractor down there, turn around, come back, and you're done. You know. So he got he got a little bit of work. I think I think that made him feel good. Gave him a little more confidence in it today. And all the boys really did a bang up job out here. And come, uh, I'm gonna give you a little spin around here. Show you the whole campsite as it looks now, and uh, probably be done for the night. Oh, here we go. Not a whole lot has changed, but it does look a lot better than it did. Say normally every year we get uh, we get fallen limbs, we get overgrown weeds. Late spring, early summer, we just come out and clean it up. It gives us a uh, nice little place to enjoy. And I think after today's work, we're going to be ready for tomorrow night. Kids running around the campsite and uh, adults sitting right here by the fire enjoying ourselves. And we're ready for any other adventure that comes along. So that's it for cleaning up the campsite. 
Um, I don't know how much, if anything, in all this was useful, but uh, it's fun anyway. I'll make sure we get some stories up about it. And I uh, look forward to the, the next task and next adventure. Thank you for watching, and from Abundant Life Homestead, I hope you all have a blessed day. Goodbye.